Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about getting started and how to build your first list. Now, you could be either an industry professional uh, who is uh, taking a fresh look at their business, or you could be a new person coming into this career for the first time. Either way, this is going to be helpful for you, and I recommend you go through these simple steps to make sure that you have a solid list to build your business on. One of the major things you're going to find in this business is that relationships is key to making lots and lots of money. Uh, you can advertise and spend a fortune to generate leads, or you can use marketing techniques to uh, leverage your SOI, sphere of influence, and to generate lots of business from your active listings, from buyer calls, and open houses. So what we're going to talk about right here is how to take your people that you already know in your life and help them help you build your business. First things first, create a spreadsheet. Organization is key. You need to have a basic program and, and you can download a bunch of free Google Docs or Google Excel sheets or you can have a Microsoft program or anything else you want to use to uh, have your information all uh, organized. The reason why you want to have a spreadsheet is that as your business grows, you're going to want to import that into a contact management software that's going to allow you to really leverage your list for yourself and uh, this is the, the foundation of it. First things first is create a spreadsheet with all the basic information, name, phone number, email, address, the Holy Trinity of Marketing. When you do the address, make sure for future to break up that address into one column is going to be the street, one's going to be the city, one's going to be the postal. This is going to make it easier for you to import that into a future CRM program. Just think about next steps. It's always, to think of, it's always good to think ahead when you're building something for yourself today. The next thing you want to do once you've taken your list. Now, before I move on, where do you get these people from? You have a ton of people at your disposal, you don't even realize you do. Where is your list right now? Your phone. Pull out your phone and take a look at that. Guarantee you've got 100 plus people on that phone right there. Sure, it's only phone numbers and maybe partial names, but it's a place to start from. Because you don't need to have all the information, take what you have and build it from there. How about your Facebook page? I guarantee you have a bunch of people on that list, uh, friends that you can use to pull into your sphere. What about past clients if you are in the industry already? What about coworkers if you're currently in another career? What about uh, the family and friends? What about the parents of your, your kids' friends? Think about associations you're part of. Think about the services that you're using on a day-to-day -day basis. Your dry cleaner, your mechanic, your doctor, you have, you have a lawyer, your accountant. You can go on and on and on. The, everyone has a list. Even if you're brand new to the city, you just moved here last week, I guarantee there are people that you can add to your list. Your neighbors that you've just met, there's going to be support services that you're going to get connected to that you can add. There's going to be the Tim Hortons down the road from you. There's a lot of people that you have access to. So the number one reason people stop this process is they go, well, I don't know anybody. I'm new to the city. That is BS. You have a lot of people you have access to. So don't let that stop you. The next thing, categorize everyone. This is a key, key point to having success in this business. One of the mistakes seasoned and veteran and brand new agents make is they do not spend their time wisely. They do not triage the people on their list to decide who should get my most energy. So a very simple rating system, A, B, C, D. A's are your all-stars. Those are people who have already referred you business. So those are gonna be, if you're already in the business and you got referrals from past clients, those guys are the ones you wanna spend the most time with because they're the ones who have already proven themselves to be a source of business for you. They can also be close friends who are trumpeting you, who are passing out your cards. It could be your parents, your family. They're, those are people that are you know, vested in your success. Close friends and past clients who've already referred you business. B, again, these are all of your past clients who may have not have referred you business, but you've already worked with them. They've already seen how awesome you are. Or their coworkers if you're coming from a different uh, profession. Uh, they also, everyone else in your friends who, again, these people that you like and have a social connection with. And of course, oh yeah, anyone in your family. These are people that you can leverage to help you build your start business. C, acquaintances, that's everybody else. That's gonna be the plumber. That's gonna be the Tim Hortons person down the street from your house. That's gonna be the lawyer, the accountant. That's your doctor, dentist, everybody else that you physically touch. We have a, a rule, it's called the three foot rule. If you're standing within three feet of somebody for more than 30 seconds, you should be talking about real estate with the person. That person is your C right there. Get their information, get their name, get their phone number, get their email address. Get their contact details so you can add them to your list. The last one's D and delete. And you shouldn't have a lot of these in the beginning, but you're gonna find as you go through your list, there might be a few people on there who you really don't have a good connection with. Maybe you kind of butt heads together. Uh, maybe you had a bad experience with them in, in the business. And if that's the case, they're not gonna refer you business. Don't waste your time on them. It's okay to remove people from your list. Spend your time on the ones who are gonna pay you. 
That's the first thing you do. So create your list, triage your list, reach out to your list. This is critical. Let everybody know that you're in the business. There's three things you want to do for a brand new person in your list. One is send them an introduction letter. That's a personal address letter to them personally. Sign it personally. People love that. Two, let them know via phone. Give them a call. Hey, I just sent you a letter last week. Did you get that letter I sent you about my new career change? Do you know anybody's thinking of making a move? How about yourself? Reach out to them. Three, email, social media, touch them on messages, send them a text message. Reach out to them multiple, multiple ways. This is not, I send out one letter once and I'll sit back and wait for the harvest to come in. That's never going to happen. Or if it happens, it'll be once. If you want to build a successful business that's sustainable and consistent, you need to reach out a lot. And we're going to cover this point a lot. And follow up. If I have not made it clear, this one-time reach out is insufficient to generate business. You need to be a follow-up king or queen. You're going to find in this business 80% of your dollars comes from follow-up. It's not going to be the guy who walks into open house and goes, oh, I want to buy a house right off the bat. That happens, but it's not something you can build business on. This is the secret to anyone's success in a sales business, let alone real estate. So again, getting started. First thing you want to do is build your list. Get everyone in anything you think of. Minimum 50 people. I'd aim for 100, if not more. Categorize everybody. Make sure that you triage people on that list so that you know which ones are worth spending your time on. Out of 100 people, you should have 5 to 10 A's. You should have 20 to 30 B's. The rest are going to be C's, maybe a couple D's. Reach out to everyone. Have a formulaic approach to reaching out to everybody. So that's going to be a batched letter. So print, create one nice form letter where you let everybody know about your career change, why you're so excited. Ask them for help because you're leveraging these people to build your business. Say, hey, can you please help me build my business? I need referrals because I want to show people my amazing services and what I can do for them. And follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up, and then one more time, follow up again because you have to touch these people a lot to get business. It's going to take you, especially if you're asked to why, especially if you're A's, to actually convert them truly into your cheerleaders. It's going to take you six months and probably 10 to 15 contacts to get these people thinking of you as real estate, especially the ones that know you well. They think of you as their friend, as their past coworker. They don't see you as real estate yet, but you can convert them by following up. I hope this has been helpful. Have a great day.